The F pawn is coming. Magnus Carlsen in big trouble. Wins the rook, but he might be about to lose this game. F6, and now it's all about these two pawns. Black King is extremely far away from the defensive squares. And it's such a bad square for the rook because the F5 square is also taken away by the G4 pawn. Once this pawn moves forward, it's just going to be difficult for Black to actually defend it. So he had to move the rook away to a square where you can eventually come behind it, but it wastes a very crucial tempo for the king to start its march back. And that's the calculation that Nordebeck needs to do. The way he's played, he's definitely going to find this one, Peter. He starts with g5, but I don't think it changes anything. I think it's also the most natural one. I also like to, to push those pawns combat. Then king g7, <laughs> king g7, g6. Yeah, no reason to rush with it's any together. of the pawns, yeah. 7, look at the king g7 and then g6. Only move. Magnus Carlsen, he plays it. The king moves forward. Black's king not in time. Look at Nadebeck blitzing his way to victory and he does it. He takes the win against the GOAT. Wins the round robin. Finishes at the top of the table in grand style.